What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? And welcome to my 10k special for my 10k Q&A. Now for those who don't know, I just had 10k subscribers, so to thank you guys, I'll be answering your questions which you guys ask me on a daily basis. So for our very first question, I believe we're going to go to Twitter first, and then we'll go to my YouTube comments. So for our very first Twitter comment, or Twitter question, we have is from any gamer tag, And he says, who is the most inspiring person that you know of or watch on YouTube? And that's actually a really good question. So the person that inspires me the most is simply Romanette Wood. Now even though he's not a GTA 5 YouTuber, he's actually a vlogger slash prankster. But honestly guys, his motto is simply smile more. That's like his merch and whatnot, all his shirts say smile more. And that's basically like what he lives on, like he just like lives his life as a small more person. Now I know that sounds a little weird, but simply, this motto is simply my motto, where essentially it's simply to stay happy, and to be happy all the time, and just simply enjoy life. So he inspires me every single day to spread the model of staying happy and uh, you know smile more and whatnot and basically just enjoy life. So that's the number one person that actually inspires me on YouTube or who I watch on a daily basis. And yeah, so that's an awesome question. Now let's move on to a different question. So for our next question is coming from Twitter once again, and it's from Sick Gaming TV, and he says, at what point on YouTube did you really get into making videos? And to answer your question, I'm pretty sure I got into making videos about a year ago, and that was only because I saw GTA 5 came out and whatnot, and I'm like, holy shit, this is an amazing game. I'm seeing all the GTA 5 YouTubers rack up the views, rack up the massive fan base and whatnot. And I thought to myself, well, I want a part of the action, I want a part of the fan base and whatnot, so I made my YouTube channel about a year ago or two years ago, and I decided to bring you guys some GTA 5 content, and that's how Happy Power was actually born. So that's that sick gaming, that's actually a very good question, but let's move on to a different question. So for our next question, we have from Undead Banana, which is a very good friend of mine, and he's a part of the three glitched tiers, but he says down below, is there anyone in particular that inspired you to do YouTube, and if so, who? Or is there anyone that you look up to? And to answer your question, yes, once again, the, the one person I actually look up to on YouTube is simply Romanette Wood. So for our next question, it is coming from Villainous Vibe, or better known as Nate, and he says, Have you ever smoked weed? And if so, tell a story. And to be honest with you guys, I have never smoked weed whatsoever, so there's no story there. I simply have never smoked weed before. So that's that, Nate. I have never smoked weed before, so no awesome story for you guys. So moving on to our next question, it is from Antihero Live, and he says, How does it truly feel to hit 10k, yo? I have always wanted that since 1k. And to be honest with you, Antihero, honestly, it feels like a freaking million bucks. I keep coming back to my YouTube channel every single day, looking at my 10k freaking subs, and I'm like, holy freaking shit, this can't be possible. It's amazing that 10,000 of you guys out there truly do enjoy my channel enough to hit that subscribe button, and to share it with your friends, and show me support like freaking crazy every single day. So to answer your question, Antihero, it feels like a million bucks, and honestly, you have to experience it for yourself. So definitely go check them out down in the description down below, and let's try to get hit to 10k by like next month or some shit, that'd be freaking insane. So good luck Antihero, and I hope to see you at 10k someday. So I think we'll end it right there for the Twitter comments or the Twitter questions, only because I want to get to the YouTube comments and answer your guys' questions, my fans and whatnot, so we're going to skip some of the Twitter comments or the Twitter questions and move right on to the YouTube questions. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to try to do this live and answer every single one of the YouTube comment questions. We have 168, so wish me luck. But for our very first comment we have is from Tesco Modders, and he says, Will you be still uploading GTA 5 glitches? And hell yeah, dude, I upload them every single day. Check out my previous videos. So I'm not really sure what he's thinking, but for our next question, we have is from Questco Hamadiu. I can't really say your name, but he says, Do you think I'm awesome? And fuck yeah, you're awesome. You're a picture right there. Seems actually pretty damn cool. What is this thing? Okay, he says, Don't worry, be happy. Yeah, you're freaking awesome, man. Your freaking motto is be happy. So yeah. I love staying happy, and as you guys know, my motto is simply stay happy, so yeah, you're freaking awesome. Moving on here, we have from David Habas, he says, congratulations, happy, so thank you, David. And he also says, can you please find a method to make the trash man suit, or save the trash man outfit after patch 1.29, thank you. And honestly, I have no idea as to how to save the trash man outfit. When you actually teleport inside your garage, or actually parachute, parachute inside your garage, for some reason, it'll kick you out instantly. So, I've tried many things such as getting inside the car, maybe like running to the freaking elevator extremely fast. I can't seem to actually save it or actually, you know, find a new method. So, if you guys know a method or some kind of tips and tricks, definitely leave a comment down below to try to help me out to figure this out. So, sorry about that. So far, no, no method, but I'm trying my best out there. So, just, you know, have some faith, David. Jeff Barrett says, Hey man, how's it going? How's life? I didn't know if you remember me. Yeah, I definitely remember you from a very, very long time ago. I believe around, like, I used to do car shows and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm doing great so far. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for coming by after such a long time. Microbot YouTube says, how did you think of your YouTube name and why did you decide to make a YouTube channel? Congrats on 10k. I remember started watching you around 4k. You've grown so quickly. And to answer your question, I got my name from simply actually trying to make a YouTube name at around the time where Google Plus just came out and it basically, 
If you guys decided to make a brand new YouTube channel, you had to make it sound like an actual name such as my real name which is Josh, then my last name. You couldn't do like a random name such as Microbot YouTube. You couldn't put that in. You had to make it sound like a real name. So I put in happy and for some reason that saved and I put in power and for some reason that saved as well. So happy power was born and that's simply that's it. Alex Curry says, how is it like to be a YouTuber? And to be honest with you, Alex, it's really, really freaking stressful. And here's why. You have to wake up really early if you guys want to get the best views possible. Now, it's kind of weird because, like, some of your friends are from the UK, Australia, New York, maybe out of state, maybe out of freaking the US. So it's kind of weird. Some of your fans watch you on a constant basis, and some of your fans can't really watch you simply because you upload really late in the day for them, or you guys upload really early in the morning for them. So basically, it's kind of like a thing where it's basically you have to find a great time period to upload videos and basically just be like really consistent with your videos. So overall it's a really stressful thing to do but honestly it's super fun to do. I made a lot of great fans and I made a lot of good friends on YouTube so I highly suggest making a YouTube channel but just keep in mind it's extremely stressful. Mr. Android says how much do you earn on YouTube and honestly I cannot tell you whatsoever. It's against the policy to actually tell you how much I make and whatnot. so sorry about that but I cannot tell you whatsoever. FTG Gaming says, do you have any brothers or sisters? Congrats on 10k bro. Thank you so much gaming, but anyway, I have 5 brothers and 2 sisters, and yes, I have a massive family. So to answer your question, 5 brothers, 2 sisters, and uh, including myself, that's around 8 kids. <laughs> the Fear Ender has 2 questions, and he says, are you ever going to make some funny moments on GTA 5? And, what is your favorite console and why? So to answer your very first question about the funny moments, I have no idea. I'm not really a funny person whatsoever, I don't try to be funny at all. I'm more of a mature, like, calm person, kind of a quiet person, but maybe in the future some funny moments, but yeah, to answer your first question, I have no idea. Now for your second question, hopefully this doesn't start a console war, but my favorite console of all time so far is the Xbox One. Now I've never played the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 3, so I can't really judge that, but I'm really looking forward to actually buying the PlayStation 4 really soon. Geeky Vernie Dean, I can't really say your name, I'm probably saying it really stupid, it's probably really easy to read, but he says, do you have a girlfriend, and unfortunately I do not. I had a girlfriend for 5 years and well, I kinda got sick of that shit after she cheated on me, so fuck girlfriend so far, and yeah, hopefully in the future I'll get a girlfriend, but not right now, I'm focusing on YouTube, my job, and probably going back to school. Nick OVR Gaming says, I have a question, what console do you play on? If you play on the PlayStation 4, can we play sometime? My gamer tag is Nick.12. I also make videos. You are an awesome inspiration. The fact that I inspire you to make videos is absolutely crazy to me. That's my entire goal on YouTube is to inspire people to make videos for themselves and to truly be happy. So, the fact that I inspire you to make videos is absolutely crazy. And please guys, go check out this guy down in the description down below. And definitely go to his YouTube channel and check him out. I'm sure he has amazing videos. He so far has 285 subscribers. So, let's try to get him to 300 subscribers by the end of the night. Mob Rick says, if you ever hit 100k subscribers, would you ever think of making YouTube a serious career? And that's actually an amazing question which I was actually waiting for, and fuck yeah, I would love to make this my career. I mean honestly guys, if I could make this my career, that'd be absolutely freaking crazy. That's my all time dream, is to have a YouTube as my job, and I can't wait in the future when it actually happens. So to answer your question, hell yeah, I would love to make this my job and my full time career as a serious career. GTA Pro Mods says, what is your favorite video game? And to answer your question, of course, it's going to be GTA 5. I love making videos on GTA 5, as you guys know. And well, it's overall a great game. Martin Fondi says, what is your real name? And someone already answered that because they must already know my real name. But Danny says, Josh, and you're correct. My real name is Josh. GTA Gamer says, how old are you? They answer your question, I am 19 years old and I'll be 20 on March 4th. Muhammad Zahar says, here's my question. Nothing. Congrats on 10k, mate. That's very kind of you and I hope you have a great night. Sam Mazina says, question, when did you pee in the pool? And to answer your question, I peed in the pool as soon as you got next to me, simply because I didn't want you next to me. Flying Lemur 102 says, will you ever show your face? Answer this boss. And yes, I definitely plan on showing my face by Christmas time for kind of like a little Christmas surprise type of thing. And hopefully, I get my awesome camera by Christmas to bring you guys an awesome face cam. Jeffrey Reese says, did you ever think you're going to grow this big on YouTube? P.S. I love your videos and thank you so much for supporting me. And basically, I did not think I would ever be this big on YouTube, especially this quickly. The fact that I had 10k subscribers in a little under 3 or 4 months is absolutely freaking crazy. And I can't tell you guys how much I truly do appreciate that. Zafri says, will Zafri ever make an appearance on your YouTube channel? For those who don't know, Zafri is a very good friend of mine and has been with me from the very, very beginning. I mean like very, very beginning when I had like 100 subscribers, something like that. This guy's been with me from the very beginning. So definitely go check him out down in the description down below and tell him happy sent you guys. Now for our last and final question we have from Marmot and he says, What does your mom think of you doing YouTube and does she support you now? And to be honest with you guys, my mom is the freaking best. She supports me every single day with my YouTube channel. 
her and her boyfriend are freaking awesome they say you know they give me motivation every single day to keep doing youtube and i truly do appreciate that so if you guys are both watching this mom and charlie thank you so much for supporting me every single day and actually motivating me to actually keep doing youtube but anyway guys, I think we'll end it right there. I have a lot more questions, but this video is going way too long, longer than I expected. So, sorry about that if I did not, if I did not get to your questions, but there's a lot of questions that got repeated. So, hopefully I answered your question, and if I did not, I'll definitely answer your question in my next Q&A. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A, and if you guys did, please show us support, and let's try to shoot for a massive like goal of 125 likes on today's video. And one more thing before we end today's video, I just gotta say it one more time. I know I say this a lot, but... Thank you guys so much for 10k subscribers. That is an insane milestone in which I cannot get over whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure you guys can actually see that. I cannot get over it whatsoever. It's freaking crazy. And every time I look at my channel and see 10k subscribers, it's like, holy freaking shit, the feels. So thank you guys so much for the endless support. And last try to shoot for a brand new subscriber goal of 15k by December for an awesome Christmas present from you guys to myself and so on and so forth. So as always, guys, stay happy. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video.